Alright, hello, this is Goose Rooney, and we are doing some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, playing my ranged uh, Deep Elf, uh, technically a Deep Elf Hexer, so I have those ready to go. Um, so yeah, mostly doing the, um, well, I forget what the class is called, but the Hexing ranged start, uh, and I'm doing it as Deep Elf, because Deep Elf has surprisingly good ranged abilities. And yeah, we're just going to see how it goes for us. Let's see. Don't care about those. Do, 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 do. Okay, these guys have given me real trouble, these sleeping caps, because they do put you to sleep, as their name would suggest. Uh, then they get a bunch of free hits on you, and that has not been great for me so far. Okay, cannot let them get into melee range. That's when that happens. And hopefully kill him from afar. Oh, what did I just say? Not following my own advice. Okay, there we go. Some good range. Nice. Did have to kite him back for quite a while, but overall seemed worth it. Okay, so these wizards aren't that scary, except that they can confuse you and whatnot. And that, I guess, is based upon willpower. Let me look at my willpower is right now. None. Uh, you can see we have fire, cold, negative poison resistance, electricity resistance, resistance to corrosion, see invisible. Our willpower here would be multiple pips like our stealth is. Uh, so this ring of fetus does take our willpower down by one. So I probably uh, should... Uh, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, so I'm going to actually take that off. I'm going to remove it. Because uh, I don't, as far as I know right now, need the resistance to fire or cold. But uh, the willpower, I would like back. Yes, now we have still no pip of willpower. That's too bad. Um, but we do have more, because I know the pips appear at breakpoints. So if I go over this guy... Let's see, we can get, uh, yeah, it's a 36% chance to confuse, and I bet if I was wearing the ring, it would be more than that. Yeah, 64. It's actually twice as much, so we are going to remove that. Go back in. We are going to toss some rocks at him and hopefully get him. Okay, nice. Not near as much of a problem as last time. There's Sif Muna, also a common get. It you are a mage type character, it just gives you access to a bunch of spell books uh, and help casting those spells and stuff. Always like to see a pair of boots. It's again another piece of armor you can have that does not encumber you whatsoever. Oops, I took an extra step when I didn't want to, and it was a bad time to do that. Wow. So it's a sleeping cap and a steam dragon, and that steam hurts a lot. Okay. Uh huh. We may want to. Yep, see, that is our problem. So currently, we don't have a good way to get out of this per se. Which is not my favorite. Uh, ooh, well, we could try a Wand of Charming. 57% chance to affect that guy. Which actually isn't bad. Let me go for that. Uh, resists with significant effort, of course. We're going to try it again, though. Okay. So now that steam really hurts, but that... cheese. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure standing in steam longer is is more... Like, I think it can do more damage over time. So you want to get out of it pretty quick. Uh, I don't know what happened to that sleep cap. Ba -ba 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 -ba, this ball steam hits your sleep cap. Yeah, I don't know. What happened to him? But he's not here. Okay. Uh, did I really lose that dragon? Okay. So stealth not only affects your ability to not be seen in the first place, but it does affect how quickly enemies lose sight of you. So I think that might have just helped us out there. So we just sort of pieced out. And said, too bad to the steam dragon. There's a frog. Oh, come on. Where'd you go? 
And then more enemies. Yeah, see, I'm trying to take out enemies, you know, if I can get them off guard, like one at a time. It'd be great. Like that, that's fine. X is increases to 8. Stellar. I gotta remember I have cause fear on me. That's, uh, that's a pretty powerful spell. Also gonna read some more scrolls, since I found the scroll of noise already. There's only so many bad things that can happen, I guess. Scroll of immolation, oh, okay. That basically does what our spell of uh, inner flame would do. And you know what, I think I'm gonna put this ring back on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hello. What if I slow you down? And then try to leave. Oh. Except I do a misstep, which then means that the slow didn't do my Oh, are you fast anyways? Kinda seems like it is. Alright. So, slowing it down didn't actually slow it down enough to really matter there. Oh, come on. You can die. Alright. This has been... Being Dumb with William. Okay, this has been not great. This guy is really coming for me. And I don't want to quite... Yeah, see, I keep doing that. Chance of effect, yeah, 56%, but I sure haven't yet. Oh, man. I mean, I gotta do that, or the potion of curing. I'll also take the, uh, here, I'm gonna switch weapons. And I'm going to quaff the potion of ambrosia, which should confuse me, but... Give me some good regen. I'm just gonna keep like swinging in the direction of this guy, even though I'm confused. Oh wow, pressure effects already off. Oh look, there's a steam dragon. Found him. This does not seem good. Okay. What is my chance here? Forty-nine percent. Forty-nine percent. Don't love those chances. Um. Do you keep forgetting about cause fear? Okay, that worked. And that's why that's a strong spell. They both just don't want to fight me anymore. Hooey. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that was a little bit uh, spooky. And it's unfortunate that I do not see the altar I want yet. Okay, so, Wand of Charming, let's try, maybe, or maybe, mm. nope, I don't like that staircase, that's not a good staircase for me. Well, let me just try to waste some time. See if they leave. They didn't leave, but now I can bring him up individually. Uh, okay, not great. I'm going to use the Mind Burst on him then. 64% chance to effect. I'll have to take it. Uh, let's see. G. V. F. Okay. Yeah, so fighting one guy being this dragon is much better than fighting multiple guys. Sixty four percent chance to hit, closely misses, likely wounded. I think I'm also gonna See if I can mind burst this dude. 
Okay. Awesome. So another thing I commonly do in this game is not use resources soon enough and then die because of it. So if I have the resources, I may as well use them rather than just keep throwing slings at something and hoping it'll die before it kills me. Because uh, that's not really a good plan if that counts as a plan at all. Uh -huh. uh, now this is kind of interesting. Oh wow, that's a lot of them. But kobolds aren't that scary by themselves, so I'm almost okay with fighting them. But, you know, do keep throwing that poison. Do I run downstairs? I think so. Okay. Now, typically, just running downstairs is also not really a great escape. Uh, because you don't know what's down there. Could be very bad for you. Oh, look at that, the altar I'm looking for. Also, the text messages in yellow there, you hear the faint creaking of a porticolis. Uh, is gonna be, I believe, the Minotaur, like the Labyrinth Zone, or whatever it's called. Uh, it could be the Bailey with a bunch of orcs. Either way, it's like a little side branch that's just one floor in the dungeon uh, that you can get cool stuff out of. It's basically harder than normal, but you can get cool stuff. So we will go there if we can. We might die because of it, but we'll see. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is the guy I was looking for, Fetus, the god of plant and fungal life, uh, forbidden from harming any species, yada yada. Um, so uh, one thing is kind of fun flavor, but um, these abilities may incidentally prove useful to adventurers, but we can walk through plants and fire through allied plants, which is good for range, because uh, you normally can't. Like, if you were going to fire something and a, you know, bush or tree is in the way, uh, it'll just, you'll hit the bush or the tree instead. Uh, so now we won't, but enemies still will hit those, so that's good. Uh, our second ability here is you can encircle yourself with summoned briar patches, so... Let's get a better look at that. Uh, missile spells through them without causing harm. Temporarily grow a menagerie of plants and allies whose strength and duration increase with invocations. Uh, you may grow a protective wall of briar patches, as well as ballistomycetes. I'm not exactly sure how to say that, but you know. Do, do, do. Yeah, so really the thing is, I believe that when we do that, Surrounded by the Briar Patch, we just get a wall around us that we can shoot through, uh, which does sound really convenient. So I'm going to go for that. The plants of the dungeons use their hostilities. It'll also help. Sometimes there are hostile plants, mostly just the Auclub plant that fires acid and is uh, honestly pretty dangerous. So now that is a non-issue. Uh, I want whatever that ring is as well as we can eventually be able to summon one, do other things. Currently, we can just walk through plants and fire through them. But already, that is half the reason I want this god. So. So far, so good on that. Hmm. Wonder where... This, uh... No, not down here. I wonder where this thing is. I wonder if we have a scroll of magic mapping. Let's just start reading some more. Ooh, blink. All right. Well, blinking into unknown actually was pretty dumb. I might have gotten next to something pretty scary, but I did not. Um, but yeah, let's just find out what these are. Scroll of fog. Very good. Uh, scroll of vulnerability, so it cuts your willpower in half and the willpower of anything around you. Do, do, do. Magic mapping. Okay, there we are. So this looks like another altar that we haven't found, like Fetus. Um, oh, and there's the temple, the door to basically the space with most of the altars in a standard dungeon layout. Although this one seems to have a lot of uh, altars spread out around places. So it looks like we did not go in the right direction, because this looks like the it's probably the Bailey, rather than the Minotaurs, what have you. Um, yeah, and then getting there. We'll see if we'll, we're able to get there before it 
closes, but... Oh, come on. Yep, now it's invisible. Awesome. Yep, now it's invisible and I don't know where it is. That is the problem with the Sky Beast. Hold on. Gonna go down here. Ooh, that's a water moccasin. That's also quite scary. Hmm. So they are an adder, but much worse. Uh, they do more damage. They are faster, I believe, and they can also, like, poison you worse. What is my chance to hit this guy? 48%. Yeah, because they're also quite evasive. Okay, I don't want this fight at all. Um, I wonder if... Oh, well, I have a scroll of teleportation, so... I'm absolutely reading that. Yeah, this guy is already doing decent damage to me. Oh, wow, that was not a great teleport. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yikes, this is a real problem. I think I'm going to... I mean, let's see, what can this guy turn into? I can't even target him. It would be Ass Dragon or Tengu. He's probably the least frightening thing of those. Um, Ass Dragon, Wyvern, or Firebat. I think I would rather fight those at the moment than him. However, uh, can I use the Wand of Charming? 49% chance to effect. I think I'm just going to have to run in that time. And then, okay, wow, that was really lucky, actually. Uh, Sky Beast attacks, you move away, and Sky Beast hits you, and I die. Awesome, that is appreciates your contribution to the ecosystem. Well, dang, that was not exactly a large run. Hmm. Well, I'll probably try that again, or... Maybe go with the Ice Mage Naga, or maybe a Necromancer Deep Elf. I don't know. I'll have to see. But, um, shoot, man, just uh, two two guys that I could not deal with at once. Um, Oxen became my friend, but not quick enough. And uh, <laughs> that teleport certainly didn't help much. But, you know, that's how it goes. Um, thanks for watching, like if you did. And I'll have some more content up soon.